Bruce is obviously an obsessive character. Two years of night turned me into a nocturnal animal. Normally, Batman seems to hold all the strings. But really, in this, he's still trying to figure out exactly what Batman is. And the Riddler seems to know secrets about Batman and Bruce that even Bruce didn't know. Stand up, no one will. What was really important to me was this idea of stray cats. She's a stray herself. Who are you under there? She looks at Batman in that way, and I think that's where their connection lies. You got a lot of cats. Never think about strays. Her friend goes missing, and that reignites her rage. She's not really Catwoman yet. She's more than just a sidekick. She doesn't need to be saved. Gordon as this kind of overwhelmed everyman represents trust. He's at least trying to rise above the corruption and misdeed that have overtaken the city. Damn. I guess it's good to be the mayor. What the hell is this? Good cop, bad shit cop. Also, he's a fan of the Batman. No guns. Yeah, man, that's your thing. It's one of his biggest fans. The Riddler is justice. Who's fed up letting Gotham cycle through its corrupt roots. And he really becomes the Riddler because he saw what Batman was doing. Without Batman, he would never have the Riddler. I think it's more similar than Bruce would like to really admit. That's why it's extremely troubling for him. What? Black and blue and dead all over. Hey, Gotham feels like a very dangerous place. The penguin wears the hardship of the life that he's lived. You look at his face and you see it's all there. You get some scars and corruption. I'm Oz. Oz is referred to as the penguin by other people, but it's not a mantle that he engages with himself. It's more of a derogatory term as, as far as he's concerned. <laughs> Batman, solo en cines.